Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are doing the monthly map spread for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I know guys, it's halfway through August and I'm still doing the monthlies. Something unforeseen has come up, but I am very much focused on getting the monthlies out at least. Guys, please remember these are general readings, times, fluid and energies can be reversed. So please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive. If you're here for the first time, welcome aboard. Welcome to my channel. And if you've been kind enough to come back, thank you so very much. Welcome back. Guys, the monthly map spread came out in June and it is looking at the month through a wider lens, I would say seeing what all energies are coming out and also seeing how they interact with each other not just focusing on one aspect but kind of all and see how they are talking to each other how they are aligning or not aligning with each other i'm told this is it four of earth this is uncanny this is how we started with capricorns this is how we are starting with you guys i'm gonna wait for the next one before i get to the floor of earth whoa tower dang it's on the same lines as well jeez what's going on earth signs your grounds are shaken it seems like someone has really sh shaken up your baseline or some event or incident that is making you reevaluate a lot of things in life and emotions are running high yeah there are a lot of things that seem to not be so clear to you and you don't like that virgos you like being very very diligent very very clear you take every step at a time you are that knight of pentacles taking every step very very clearly painstakingly slow but still assuring that it's the right step to take but when you don't know where to head to and your grounds are shaken how are you going to take that step forward and that is the reason a lot of reevaluation of things are happening because something new is coming up and we do not know how to go about that and maybe it's sudden with this tower moment it is a sudden shift in energy and that is the reason we do not know what to do that leap of faith is not that easy for you to take when you do not know what's coming up you are not somebody who likes to do that this is you being out of your comfort zone clearly because something is coming your way the way you had not expected it to come four of waters something has really caught you by surprise yeah this is some energy that has blindsided you yo and now suddenly it's in front of you do not know what to do this could be for some not really expecting a love interest to come your way and boom just when you were not expecting it hit you like a train this could be a new opportunity that fool card i'm taken to but with that ace of waters and the moon coming in with the world card this could be somebody out of the blue suddenly coming in your life and the sparks are all over you do not want to see the sparks so clearly there are no fire cards so far out and you do not know what to do you're like yeah um no thank you two of air very much in your head so much in doubt like this way or that way that weighing the options by the way there is no option <laughs> but you're still creating that that i need to weigh the situation you were not even prepared for this how are you gonna weigh this up yeah, that reevaluation is where I'm taking to. Let us see what's the next after the Ace of Waters. Look, transformation. It is when you are out of your comfort zone is when transformation happens. Transformation does not happen in your own comfort zone. Uh-uh. At your own pace. No, sometimes it's like punch in the gut. 
Yeah, hit by a train kind of a feeling. That's what I feel. What do we have? Page of water. There's quite a lot of emotions. There is love in the situation, clearly. I am not sure whether you are okay feeling this love. You do not want to feel the emotions that have cropped up suddenly in the situation. Six of air. All you want is peace. I don't want it. <laughs> yeah, you want to time out. You're like, I don't know why. No, not right now. I was not ready for this. But the progress is there. You cannot stop it. Oh, by the way, we have 444. Angel number 444. Please look into that, guys. Queen of Earth. This is what you want. Stability grounding. You just want to feel the ground underneath your feet stable again. It's really, really shaky right now. Let us clarify. Four of Earth for my Virgos spirit. Knight of Cups. See, this is passion. You do not know from where it's hitting you, from where it came and how it caught you. And you're like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, what? <laughs> Tower. Four of Swords. You want to take a break, that Four of Swords coming in twice? This is your number? Four. Nine was the number for Capricorn, I believe. There were lots of nines there. You have lots of fours. We have already four fours here. You can take a break all you want. That tower moment is not going to stop. Simple as that. So clearly you want to take a step back and reevaluate. But the other energy is flowing and it's uncontrollable. We have the Queen of Cups and Judgment with the Moon. It's all about emotions, guys. And it seems like, I don't know whether it is somebody else judging you or is it you judging the situation and yourself in some ways. As to why you are feeling the way you are feeling and it's very unlike you and all that. Let us go to the fool and then to the world. Anything else? That need to, yep, there you go. There you go. Confusion. There is no scope for confusion. But you're like, you want to, you do not want to. King of Wands, someone really, really charming in here. Leaving you supremely in your head. That two of air coming in. Like, there's one side of you who wants to take that leap. The other one is still trying to evaluate, you know, figure out the situation. You are just literally stumbling and trying to gain your posture. The world, what's this absolutely brand new energy coming in? <laughs> we love fortune. <laughs> man the way energy is shifting you are unable to catch your breath literally ace of water then this new energy is so so intense so passionate so full of fire so energetic and you clearly seem to be getting pulled towards this extremely charming energy but see this is what you are doing <laughs> Ace of Waters with the world and brand new beautiful loving energy is coming in but you are resisting that this is you being all objective thinking from your head when it is the matter of heart very much so I feel here Four of Waters what is it that came to my Virgos which they were clearly not expecting not expecting whatsoever. King of Pentacles. 
we have the king and the queen of pentacles the divine feminine and masculine coming together probably not in the package that you had anticipated or expected it to be but clearly it's got quite a lot of potential it's the king of pentacles energy coming in this person might be older than you or you are older than them we have very very strong charming responsible energy this could be somebody in authority as well this could be somebody who is like a ceo md you know what i mean like at a good position but you're like what this is not what is supposed to happen in life at this point in time <laughs> transformation transformation what do we have nine of pentacles see this is you trying to be on your own trying to have this shift of energy work through it on your own but it's clearly not the way it's supposed to be on this whatever new journey this other energy is very much here whether you want to accept it or ignore it whether you want to isolate yourself or engage with it whether you want to take a step back and reevaluate it it is here so let us see what is this two of air what is this weighing the energies weighing the situation is all about or this could be you getting pulled between your heart and your mind please clarify the two of air what do we have the flyers whoa okay three cards coming out we have the page of wands we have the hermit and we have the chariot look this is what i'm saying there is this new energy, right? The page of one is that spark that's coming in life. Now, this is what's the problem. This is you, you know, being very speculative, trying to take each and every step very diligently. And here is this fast moving energy chariot. Let's go. And you are stuck in between. This is what's happening. The struggle between the mind and the heart. Your heart wants to go. Your brain is like, nope, we need to figure this out. Page of water. This new energy, the spark. That tickle in your heart. What is this page of water energy spirit? Please clarify the page of water energy for my Virgos for the spread that we have in front of us what is this new energy look i'm telling you whatever this new energy is has a lot of power it is attractive it is very attractive we have the three kings and we have the emperor so the attraction is there clearly you don't know what to do with it actually that's the problem yeah the struggle because you want peace you're like peace out i do not want to deal with it well you got to because it's very much here whether you want or not so four of air we started with reevaluation, taking that step back looking into things very defensive energy and we have it again here four of air trying to look through the lens very much focused look talking about looking it through the lens balance is what you are craving to get balance is what you're gonna get probably it's a it's the best way to go about it but understand this Virgos you cannot move forward with such a closed mindset you are at a crossroads and you have to let the energies come to you you need to process it you cannot shut the doors you can't as I said, whether you like it or not, that tower is happening. This is a very, very charming, very, very attractive energy. And the battle between the heart and the mind is just driving you insane. All you need is peace and you're not getting that. Why? Because we are running away from something that we cannot run away from. That is in the scene now. 
And you are told. At least give it a chance. Just see how it works. At least be neutral. Nobody is telling you to be pro it or, you know, just shut it. Just be on neutral grounds and look at it. And acknowledge every emotion of yours. If you are thinking from your brain, well, yeah. Don't ignore your heart. No. Let us get you an oracle guidance message to wrap up this reading. This one is from the Yogi Path Oracle deck. Spirit, final word for my Virgos for the month of August. Final word for the spread that we have in front of us. We do have, what do we have? Tapas in the reverse. Let us see what is Tapas in the reverse. The difference between humans and animals is tapas, discipline. Though we have animalistic urges, which I feel is quite a lot because of this very charming energy that is in the scene, we can train the mind to move beyond them towards a greater good for ourselves and for those around us. Discipline will mean different things for different doshas at different times. For Vatas, discipline will mean following through the task at hand and seeing their vision to completion. For Pittas, discipline will mean honoring the mind and body by resting when needed. For Kapas, discipline will mean committing to a movement and health regime that makes them feel inspired. Ask yourself, where do I need more discipline? Am I seeing my visions to completion or starting new projects before finishing the ones that matter? Am I challenging myself too much or too little? Am I showing up for my personal, physical and self-care practice every day? Am I acknowledging my emotions? And on that note, leaving you with all these questions to think about my word goes i'm gonna take your leave thank you all for joining me it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods